in this video um, I just want to show you how to um, modify the master page with uh, a CSS which is a cascading style sheet uh, if you don't know CSS then uh, this is not a tutorial for uh, CSS it's just uh, to show you how I've laid out my master page which I'm going to be using the rest of the videos to show you um, how to use master pages so what I've done is I've actually changed the background color of the old HTML page to be black uh, the header, I'm going to add some padding, change the background color and uh, the color of the font will be white and I've created a wrapper that will wrap all the content and I've made the width to be 850 and the navigation section which you're going to see in a minute I've actually applied all these uh, properties so I've created a sidebar, a footer and the main content area with a width of 600 pixel so if I've actually created all this CSS file, uh, save it on my system. So to add it to the project, you go through the same process of adding existing item. And uh, you look for, as you see, it's inside my document. So if I go to my document, I have the uh, style. I just click on add, then it's been added to it. Then once it's been added to it, all I have to do is just, uh, uh, and this is a very short cut. Let me delete this so you can see how to add a CSS if it's not there. So you know you have to add a CSS file inside the edit tag. All you have to do is once it's been added to the project, just drag and drop it to inside your editor. Just as you see, it created a link to the uh, CSS. So, so once I've done that, once I've uh, created the CSS outside, I've uh, um, link it to the master page. I created a master page created the master page just like I did in the previous video and I linked the CSS file to it. Then I went ahead and I uh, def uh, defined uh, all my div all my div tags. So the div which is the uh, upper div tag I applied the wrapper class to it then followed by the header then the navigation area the div for the main content area for the sidebar and for the footer so there is nothing special about it and this is what it looks like now if you want to have the uh, CSS file if you leave me a comment I'll send it to you if you don't know CSS so this is what it looks like now the header, the navigation area, the sidebar the main content area and the footer so this is how you should modify your uh, uh, your master page issue so what I've done is I've actually left the uh, um, the content placeholder hard side of the old website, now, but this is not to, the way to do it. You should know that the content placeholder is the only uh, is the only area on the website that will be modified that will be modifiable uh, in the pages in the content pages. So what I want to do now is I want to uh, grab this and place it inside the main content area. So let me put it inside the main content area. So this is also a shortcut you can select something and drag it to where you want to place it so let me drag it there so it's been dragged there now so that means when we create our new uh, pages we're going to have the content placeholder to modify the content so these other sidebars even though they modify you can modify them now on inside the we can modify them inside the master page once we inherit from this master page in the, in, the, in our page uh, we won't be able to modify anything except inside the content placeholder so let's add a new page so let's say add a new item I want to add a web form and we're going to call this page 2 so we want to select a master page and uh, we want to select the master page the master okay so the first thing you should notice is that uh, just like I said in the last video we do not have any XHTML tag here there is no XHTML tag we only have the uh, uh, our C sharp uh, script code and this content place orders so we have the content place order one which we can use to uh, write the content for the page so let's go ahead as you see now there's no way I can modify any of this area except the content so that's a it's content for page 2 so if we run the website now we can see how our website looks 
and the content that we just added. So we have this beautiful website with the background of black and this is the content for page two. So now you understand what the uh, the content the master page is for. So now that means we can modify the content of this page and uh, every time we go from page two page to page three is only the content of this area we change. We can use the navigation area for the navigation of the website and we can use the sidebar for maybe extra information. As you can see, this is the advantage of using the uh, master page is to have a structured layout and uh, you can modify the content uh, the content area to display your content. So you can use the sidebar, maybe you can use the navigation area to create a navigation for your web application. Then uh, you can use the sidebar maybe to provide extra information to the user such as maybe any news. You can use it to display the news and you have the footer, the header and so on. So this is why we use the master page in ASP.NET and uh, in the next video we're going to be looking at other properties of uh, uh, master pages. Thank you.